Never has the phrase a game of two halves been more true. 4-2 in the first half, 0-0 in the second half, Chelsea beat Brighton 4-2. Okay, so last place, I, I do have to put Sanchez. Like, I wanted to actually put him higher because I actually wanted to make a case for him. But out of all the players, he, he makes two mistakes that lead to goals. So you, you, you can literally not put him last. That being said, people giving him like a 3 out of 10 shocking display, must improve and this and that. And it's like, yeah, he does make mistakes, too many playing out from the back sometimes and just like little head loss moments. But I actually think he saved us from a couple goals. Okay, maybe the first save, which we're all probably thinking about, was one you should make. But I think the second save from Danny Welbeck is a really good dive with your right hand. And ultimately, if you're going to make those mistakes, you're going to pass it out while being, um, you know, just losing losing thought. Do it 3-1 up against Brighton at home. Like, it's okay. Like, I've, I'd react very differently maybe if it was like Spurs away or something. But like, ultimately, we win 4-2. Like, the mistakes what is what, like, what they were, I feel like they can be ironed out. Like, if he had Chris Packett wrists and his dives just weren't there and he wasn't coming for crosses and, like, a bit more of a Kepa situation, I'd be a little bit more worried. But I actually rate Sanchez as a goalkeeper in terms of, you know, the traditional sense, the making the saves. And I feel like if those were the, the frailties, I'd be a little bit more worried. I'm repeating myself. But basically, I don't think he's bad at playing the ball out. Like, he's not bad at, He's, but his decision making is what's worse than his actual ability to do it is what I'm trying to say. Going up from there, I've got Gusto, Kowal and Fafana. Apparently in that order, I've got nothing to say about any of those three. So I'm not going to. Going up from there, I've got Enzo and I've got Kukurea. Kukurea kind of got higher again because of that Brighton thing. He does get a goal. He was offside. Um... But overall, really tidy performance. And just in general, again, steps up, wins the ball in like high up places, kind of, sort of on the halfway line. I very much appreciate that from Kukurea. And um, just out of the defenders gave me the most, the most joy, I'd say. Uh, and then Enzo, I've got just below him. I think Tidy honestly didn't do much, but just kept it ticking. Maybe Jorginho kind of performance, which people don't like me saying. And Caicedo, similar thing. But at least I can think of moments in my head of him winning the ball, starting, off, starting us off on attacks. But honestly, most of our attacks came from Brighton mistakes and actually came from like Jackson or Palmer winning the ball high up the pitch, which kind of just made things like very attacker focused which is cool it feels like a lot of the time we either struggle to score goals or create chances and when we were scoring goals those goals were never coming from our attackers we had like Werner and Havertz these exciting attackers who came from the Bundesliga who'd score a lot of goals and they came here and they just did it it's not seeing enough goals from attackers which is what you kind of want to see all the goals would come from full backs we were nothing without Reese James Chilwell were chipping a lot even going back with like Alonso and stuff so it was just a bit of a shame right but now it feels like this was a very attacker centric game uh, which is nice. It's nice to see these attackers coming in and doing well. Uh, and I'm not just talking about Palmer there. I'm talking about Sancho. We'll get into him in a minute. Going up from there, I've got Noni. He's the first attacker we're going to talk about. It was kind of interchangeable, this for me, between Noni and Jackson. But I guess Jackson gets an assist. Um, so I put him slightly higher. But they both, I think, had really good games. Like the crowd, like people getting a bit annoyed at times when they wouldn't finish their chances. But I think they both worked really well to get into those situations to score. Again, we're four to up, someone being a little bit more lenient when they're not taking certain chances. But they do, they basically done everything apart about their game good today, apart from putting the ball in the back of the net. You could see Jackson was a bit annoyed at himself coming off today that he didn't get a goal because he had multiple chances, him especially, to get one. But I did put him just above because of the assist. Uh, going up from there, I got Sancho, who I think, honestly, like... Considering Cole Palmer scored all four goals, which we're going to get into that in a minute, right? I actually think Sancho was, like, comparable with how good he was today. And he scored none. Like, that's how good I think he was. Just, like, I, I really liked Sancho and I really wanted us to sign him before he went to United because we were linked to him at the same time. And then he went to United and we ended up getting someone else. And I kind of lived with that and said I had to learn to love that player. But I really wanted Sancho. And then I kind of convinced myself, maybe Sancho just isn't all that. Like, he's tried out in the league and, like, something's gone wrong with United, clearly. But maybe he's just a bit of a Bundesliga merchant. They do exist, you know, because he immediately goes back and he's, like, getting assists again. But, like, nah, man. As a winger who hasn't got pace, like, he's not slow, but, like, he's not rapid, you know. And, like, he just makes up for it with just, like, great decision-making, his ball control, like... Like the inside, like the inside reverse pass is always there to be played, and he always finds it. Like the the weight of his pass, like he's just so good. Like at one point, I was watching him, and it's like he goes to take on a player, he gets past them, but then they kind of foul him and fall on the ground, and he megs them while they're on the ground, but then they kind of hold him back, and he doesn't get a foul. It's just like when you see little things like that, you just go, "This guy's close control, like his ability is undeniable," and he gets 
two assists, one assist um, for Palmer. Palmer's fourth goal, but he does also win the penalty. So you got you could argue two assists, really good. And then Cole Palmer. I mean, I knew this day was going to come where he scored four goals in the game. The second I saw that clip, like when he's doing the one, two, three for the graphic, and he's like, "What about if I score four though?" And it's just like he has this kind of like really genuine arrogance about him. Like that, that that comes out of him in the most like genuine, natural way that you that I've only seen like that I can remember anyway from like Hazard in terms of Chelsea. Like when Hazard said that thing like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna stop doing knee slides because I, I'm being as many graces on my knees." Like that was the that's like the most arrogant. Like, I score so many goals. Oh, it's such a burden, you know. What I mean, like, oh, my knees are hurting type thing because I'm always having to knee slide. Like you know. The, the struggle from success type thing. It's like Cole Palmer had that, like, what if I score four? And it's like, it, this wasn't even coming from this, like, huge kind of... Like, he genuinely is like, but what if I score four, though? That's, like, very likely to happen. I'll do one for four. And the second I saw that, I was like, okay, Cole Palmer's going to be scoring four. Didn't think he'd come this early in the season, but he's got four. He could have had five. He got four in one half. First time that's been happened in the first half, at least, I think. And um, he could have had five in the whole game. Uh, he could have had six, honestly. There was two extra chances where he could have scored. Which it's just like he is he is insane like what we are watching like because yeah the first goal the, the goals kind of get better and better as you go until you get to the like well they're slightly out of order it's like someone blind ranked them like it's it's almost perfect but like, the first goal yep yeah, it's like a tapping sort of thing could have got blocked on the line but he puts it in perfectly then he gets the penalty we're still waiting for him to miss one then it's the free kick which I don't think we've seen him score a free kick yet and he was he was like when I saw the replay I was like well he was further out than I even initially thought and just puts it in the top corner for the hat trick and then the fourth goal bangs it in near post just like wow 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 and he's like never shocked by the things he's doing it's just like yep type thing and it, it is crazy we beat Brian 4-2 I'm not sure which game we got next I think it might be might be in the conference league I'm not sure Noah is it and after being XG merchants for what it feels like has just been too long. It's nice to actually be in exciting games and been getting the goals for it as well. So on to the next.